number two. This is my largest unboxing yet, and it is not even close. There are so many Miku stands here that I don't even remember a lot of them because I ordered these maybe four or five months ago, and I spent about an hour re-researching last night trying to figure out where all these came from, and then I decided it'd be funnier if I just get surprised because if I know anything about the quintessential quintuplets, there's going to be a lot of down bad stuff here. So yeah, strap in, subscribe, and let's just get to unboxing. We're gonna do this one by one. Starting with the very first one, I was smart enough to take the stickers off of the packages this time because I had to do a lot of blurring during part one, which if you haven't already, go watch it after this part. But anyways, I definitely researched which one this was and I don't remember what it's called anymore. Because yeah, as you can see, I did try to research them at first. I also realized that this box had most of the premium stands in it, so you're in for a treat today. So I think this one is the waving one, which of course I couldn't figure out where it's from. But yeah, stand number one, a very basic one if I'm being honest, but I'm sure there's plenty of down badness to come. I turned on product showcase mode. Oh, I'm gonna have to restart the audio too. We're, do we're a mess. <sighs> and we're back. Make sure you subscribe because this is the level of professionality you get here on my channel. <laughs> I literally cannot tell what this is. Oh, this one conveniently tells us where it's from. And we have Festival Miku. This one's actually so cute. I'm a sucker for any of the festival type ones, honestly. <laughs> well, this'll make a good video. But TikTok doesn't get to see this one. Because <laughs> Daddy TikTok is not a fan of when anime characters show some skin. <sighs> We've got Beach Miku. And I'm sure a lot of you are jealous of this one. But if you do end up wanting any of these stands, you may want to stay tuned until the end of the video for an announcement. Next stand. Keep showing you guys first, no fair. This is another one I tried to research, but at the end of the day, it's literally just Miku in a uniform. <laughs> so this one's from the sequel. I don't know how much more specific you can get than that. Other than that, they're pretty similar. <laughs> Next stand. Got quite the army already. Does it not come with a stand? That's annoying. Oh, it's because this one's a keychain as well. We have another Miku. This one looks like it would have been given away at some type of event, because it's definitely in the style of the mangaka. Oh, five down. Much more to go. Oh, this one's a cool one. Never cut towards yourselves, kids. <laughs> it's reminding us that we paid. I'm sure that was when they originally bought it. When you cut away from yourself, make sure you don't cut your fingers. Leave me alone, all right? <laughs> this one's gonna mark the beginning of a pattern, as this is one of the many different athletic Mikus or Miku doing some type of sport. I mean, this one's kind of sporty, but not really. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot more of those. <laughs> If it seems like I'm going through this quickly, it's because we have over 30 stands to unbox today. And I don't want to waste your time. Oh, this is one. You would think I'm doing this for the bit. I'm really not. This is another one that I researched. This one. This one's one of the many Miku wedding dresses and was available for order on Animate. <sighs> It's funny, I was saving these stands for when the quintessential quintuplets movie came out in the United States, and it just never came out. It came out in Japan in May. It is September when I am recording this, which means that I waited five months on top of like the three months of owning these and still nothing. Ooh, I actually recognize the top left logo because that is Fuji Q, which is actually an amusement park in Japan. Sometimes they have collaborations with the quintessential quintuplets, and I guess this is one of them, which would make sense because this one's Miku holding a map, presumably a map of the park. Corporate advertising, baby. Next stand. I put this stand on the wrong way. What did I tell you? We got another sporty Miku. I think this one's one of the ones that's exclusive to like Don Quixote or some crap like that. And I thought by the name that it was gonna be some kind of like a high fashion brand. Turns out it's like a Dollar General. <laughs> Goes to show you how good my sense of fashion is. Oh, but it's an anime co-op exclusive anyway. We got Skater Miku. But I'm very curious. Go watch part one of this video if you haven't and let me know which stands you like better. Because if I'm being honest, I think I like these ones better so far. But we'll see if the next stand continues that trend. We got Sailor Miku, I would think. I mean, she's holding a water bucket. She's also letting them dogs out. What did he say? Hey. Oh. But uh, definitely one of the more down bad ones. <laughs> I couldn't even guess where that one's from. Next stand, this one's a smaller one. This one's a much smaller one. <sighs> we continue the trend of the blue Mikus. Last time there were a bunch of blue ones that I couldn't identify because Miku's just kind of known for the color blue. So this one will probably be no different. Put the keychain on this boy. 
a very small blue Miku. I'm gonna have to start moving things off this desk. The wonderful sound of plastic scraping wood. What is this? Why is this so big? I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. 12 seconds later. I just realized what I said. Another Fuji Q Highland stand. I think this one actually was celebrating a Quince attraction, which is super dope. We have Miku as an amusement park worker. I'm telling you, they will brand Miku however they can. This one looks to be a twofer. Do people even say that in 2022? No. Oh, they gave me some extra stuff as well. We have two bonuses celebrating the quintessential quintuplets movie, and these were definitely not in the listing, so. Shout outs to whatever seller gave me those. Or maybe I ordered these off of an actual website. Because we have another wedding Miku and another bikini Miku. Because <laughs> of course we do. What else would you do with Miku? Two more stands I'm sure you guys would love to get your hands on. And who knows, maybe you'll be able to. On to the next one. These are so much cooler than the last set, at least in my opinion. I think it's because this box was more expensive than the last box. We have Miku holding an ice cream cone. I'm gonna put this under the category of like date Miku stands, but it's just like Miku in cute outfit with some type of activity. In this case, I guess it's having some ice cream. <laughs> How many stands have I opened in total at this point? There's more than probably any other human has, if I had to guess. Oh, but this one's a companion to one of the other ones we had last time, which I didn't even realize they made one, but... Last time we had Cat Miku, and this time we've got Dog Miku. That one is so cute. I'm gonna put him right in the front, where you can't even see him because the lens is not big enough. Next stand. Not a stand. These are really, really cool though. We have... <laughs> you can tell this is a real fan because they even put them in order of the kids. Five school IDs for each of the quints. This was given away at like an anime convention in Japan, but it's such a cool freebie. I don't know why, but anything that's like a prop or something that's in the anime that you can have in real life, I think is so cool. That being said, I do not want this Ichika one. So if you want a chance to win this Ichika ID, make sure you subscribe and tell me your favorite stand with an extra snake emoji. So I know that you watched this part. The garbage pile next to me is getting quite large. What the heck? But we have Miku holding some bread. Again, it kind of gives off like date vibes. Next stand. <laughs> it's a big one. I mean, a lot of these are big, but still. So. Where did I put my scissors? It was in with the garbage. Ah, who cares? Sorry, packaging. But I don't know if winter's just a really big deal in Japan, or if they're just trying to capitalize on Christmas spending funds. But it seems like every winter they release a bunch of different winter-themed or snow-themed Mikus. This is one of those. But it actually seems like we've done a good number on the stands in record timing. Last time it took me so much longer to go through these. Maybe I need to start milking time, you know? I can't ruin the packaging. I'm not like that. As long as we hit eight minutes, Sweet Daddy Susan gives me the mid rolls. I could care less. Is this another multi one? Yeah, it looks like I ordered this from an actual store again. The first one is K on Miku. It's not actually K on, but it does look like it. It is Miku as a rock star, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but we also, ow! But we also have what appears to be labeled as Spring Fair Miku. When in reality, it's just Miku in her normal outfit. But I think at this point, a lot of you are probably wondering, Sway, why would you buy so many stands? And honestly, it's largely because of you guys. The Quintessential Quintuplets is an anime I watched very early on in my TikTok career. Well, not really a career, but in my years of TikTok. And it was basically the first anime I talked about on TikTok. Because before that, I was a music mashup account. So the Quintessential Quintuplets is something I hold really near and dear to my heart. And it's always fun going through these unboxings as kind of a way to remember those old days. Either that, or I'm just down horrendously. One or the other. I mean, I'm also doing something pretty special with these, but you'll see that in a bit. This one is a part of the, like, number collection or whatever, because <laughs> Miku says five. I think it's a part of the, like, Quince five collection. At first, I was going to say it's because Miku's number five, but she's not number five. She's number three, I'm pretty sure. I actually really like this one. I like the style of it. Next stand. Oh my god, this is one of my favorites. We have Miku as a casino girl. And I love it because it looks like she's the cross between a maid and a bunny girl. And it is a just a very funny stand. This one took me a very long time to find. I can't really see. Oh, I know which one this is. <laughs> Don't ask why I did that. This one is from one of the special Quince events. And it actually might have been the event where I got that signed panel. Well, it wouldn't, I didn't get it directly at the event. I bought a second hand. But still. This is from Revival, and it is a Miku stand that's like especially in the art style of Neji, the mangaka. 
It looks like we're down to like 10-ish stands left. Is this a repeat? I think I did it again. It's almost like I bought like 60 stands and lost track. We have a duplicate. So I will be doing the same thing I did last time. And I will be giving the duplicate away over on Instagram and TikTok dropped it next one this time we have miku with nothing but a dress shirt on not much more to say on that one. Oh, looks like this one already kind of opened a little bit this one's gonna require an explanation though it's stuck why is it like oily let's go i'll get that later but this miku stand is a collaboration with dot da sentai dashikaku sentai dashikaku sentai dash dash <laughs> Whatever. Sentai Daishikaku. That, which is one of the mangaka's other projects. So that one was Miku as the Blue Keeper. And I promise I'm not just doing that as like a bit. There was like some kind of weird film on that specific stand and the outside packaging, which hopefully it's nothing bad, but yeah, it made it really hard to pick that one up. <laughs> the next Miku stands actually in a box. How do you even open this box? I think you just pull. Wow, that is weird. How did they package it in the first place? Hand is amazing. Ah, another two for one. But this time, we actually also have a Nina. Because these were prize figures. Which, if you don't know what prize figures are, essentially, Japan's pretty obsessed with crane games. And these stands were prizes you could win in them. So I managed to get a bundled Miku and Nina. This one just says, Thank you! Huge letters. I also like the strawberry tape on the back. Hobby stock? Really? They really give anyone a Miku stand, huh? We have, uh, um, Colonial Miku. They won't call it Colonial Miku. They'll call it something stupid like classical Miku. That's what this one is. We're down to the last couple stands. But stay tuned! I told you, I got a surprise. We have Wedding Miku, and you might actually recognize this one, because I unboxed a framed artwork of this a very long time ago. So go check out that video. But first, watch me devour these last few stands. <laughs> Looks like we're having two separate giveaways. One will be on TikTok, one will be on Instagram, <laughs> because we have another prize figure Miku. I'm not even gonna bother unboxing that one. Oh, this one's got like a film on it. I'm gonna keep it on it though. We got another Festival Miku. Which one do you like better? Because I kind of like both of them. And with that, finishing us off, we have an H prize, which actually doesn't mean that it's a prize figure. It means that it came from a figure lottery, which is a different thing because Japan loves gambling. But we have Miku with some buns. I mean, <laughs> I meant to say Miku with some cups. It's Miku with some cups, presumably of like green tea, because I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Chinese. <laughs> and with that, after multiple months, I have unboxed what is probably close to every single Miku stand ever made. And one Nino stand. But if you're feeling left out, I've got good news. If you're watching this, that means that round two of my Miku mystery boxes just dropped. Every single package will have one Miku stand and one custom Weiss Schwartz pack, which will contain a holo card and a card that's signed by me. And with that, I'm gonna head out. But if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe because there are plenty of Quince unboxings for you to watch. And I will see you in the next video.